Hi guys, today uh, I just want to give you a quick demo of the uh, new updated tool Nexus Media Importer uh, which works with you know, GG cable and USB stick um, Big difference now is that it also works with uh, NTFS um, f um, file systems um, Why is it so important? Because uh, with the FAT32 um, file system you were limited to file sizes of 4GB uh, something but as you know, for example, if you want to use this uh, for watching movies, um, it could be quite problematic because uh, most of the 1080p movies uh, are these days 6 to 8 gigabytes, so it won't fit on a FAT32 uh, partition. So, but I will quickly show this and you will see how smooth this work works on uh, this device. So I'm plugging the cable in, then next set it on. Yeah. So <coughs> I've chosen uh, as a config to to have a folder view, view instead of the the normal view of the um, uh, the default view of the Nexus Media Importer. So I can just see all my folders here. Um, let's go to movies. So you can see I have three movies on there. <coughs> I will choose um, second one. As you can see, this is a 1080p movie which has uh, double audio tracks, subtitles, etc. So you just click on stream, choose dice player, which is quite nice in this device. And see how fast this, this thing actually pops up. Um, there's no glitches, no uh, nothing, it just runs very smoothly. Um, all the Basic features you would uh, expect work, so you can change the audio track very easy. You can have the subtitles you want or not want. And I must say, <coughs> a movie of this quality looks absolutely brilliant on uh, this kind of device. So. Um, this one will replace uh, the, the screens I think most people have in their car with, uh, with people can plug in a DVD to, for their kids to watch in the car this is much much better um, finally your kids can watch HD movies in the car instead of crappy DVDs um, so Okay, <coughs> um, no, that's it, folks. Um, I think the Nexus Media importer now is worth the money. It's it's not very expensive, anyways. Um, 